This is Jordan Town with JT News. <clears throat> this is Jordan Town with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much. And let's wait for it to go live. And boom. Boom. Okay, we're here. All right. This is Jordan Town with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much. Let me get into sharing the video real fast. And then we will get into a quick, a quick live. But we'll get right into it. A lot of weird little things happening out here. You know, Kanye West is up to his weirdo stuff. <laughs> he's just, you know, he's a hypocrite. He's a walking hypocrite, man. He's an amazing person, meaning he gets things done and he's done a lot with his career. But he's a hypocrite when he just starts running his, you know, running his mouth and not meaning the things he's saying or some of the things he's saying aren't even possible. You know, like, can he just give all the masters back? I mean, is it up to him? Is he the only owner in the company? We have to get into that right now. So I just shared the video. Let's get right into it. Hit that like button if you're in here and let's get right into it. So first we'll start with Cardi B. So an old account of her sisters uh, actually kind of confirms that DC all day wants me to show my face. Calm down, my G. You don't want to see this face. You don't want to see this mug, my G. <laughs> um, here it is. Okay. Why can't I see? Okay, I have to go to chat over here. You got to be kidding me, man. I can't even see it. I got to log into this other thing because the chat won't appear in the stream thing. Things are just messed up tonight, man. I tell you. All right, here we go. All right, so DC all day wants me to show my face. Angel P, I see you, True Big Cotton. Um, Teacher, Treacher Records, Block Bishop, Naya M, how you doing? All right, so is is Cardi B really 32 years old? I would say, yeah, the way uh, it kind of matches up better with her career and everything, you know? It, it just, it matches the things she knows about her career and everything. I mean, it's not that far off. She says she's 28, 32. They tell you to lie about your age of the labels anyways, you know, just to appear younger. It's just, I guess they're just used to doing it. Uh, West Side Chicago in the building was good. Steve J. Howard. Do you guys think that Cardi B is 32? I would say probably. <laughs> Mei Ling was good. Hey, salute. Was watching the B.I.G. Junior Mafia video. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, let's see. Jay Pesos. What's up? What's up, Jordan? The Bronx tapping in all the way in. That's where I'm from. Riverdale B. From the soft, I'm from the soft part of the Bronx. <laughs> Two forty six Street, my G. <laughs> Two forty six and Henry Hudson Parkway. I'm from the soft part of the Bronx. Absolutely, she's thirty two. True, big, true big cotton. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Age is just anything but a number. But it's like, you know, it's like she got popping in her twenties. She's still going. She's oh, Capone Don says she isn't thirty two. I think she's thirty two, my G. And there's nothing wrong with being 32. It's just the lying. Okay, so Big Sean comes out. And he the lyrics from his Benny the Butcher uh, song, Timeless. Uh, so it's Benny the Butcher featuring Big Sean and Lil Wayne. I highly recommend the song. It's fire. Dallas Love, I see in the building. Um, signed a slave deal. Now I'm a dude holding up my master. Now a dude holding up my master's. It was all good. Now it's great. <laughs> Get it? Good. <laughs> Swear it's labels. That's uh, up B's. That owe me M's. Mmm. Up billions. And you owe me millions. <laughs> Kanye West is holding back $3 million from Big Sean, but he has billions. Ah, so Kanye West isn't the great person we think he is. Do you really think he's a great person? Two ninety nine from Mei Ling. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Kevin Taylor. What's good? Mr. Cortez. I see you. All right. So like Drake always told us like Kanye, he's not that good a guy. He's hard to sabotage my career. He did this and that. I believe him, especially now. Did Kanye West leak the information to push a T? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. He definitely did. He definitely did. Okay. The, the way he's treating Big Sean, not letting him out, letting him out of his masters, holding back three million dollars when you got five million. It's crazy. Detroit said, "What up, though? Seven Mile, Butch. See you, homie. Measy Mees. What's good? Yeah, Kanye West is dirty, man." So, uh, T Boz from TLC, she just did an interview recently. It's a confusing interview because in the interview, she said everybody turned their backs on us after her left eye passed. They didn't think we could do it without her. She said, no, there was no, we had just done OVO Fest and then Drake couldn't come out. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Drake got hot around 2000, he got hot in 2009, but. OVO Fest didn't even exist till like, I think, 2012 or 13, right? And Left Eye passed in 2002. <laughs> and then she said T.I. turned his back. He didn't come out. Now, th that would have kind of kind of gone along with the timeline because T.I. blew up in 2002. She said people were making all kinds of excuses to not do shows with them and everything. Now, I love TLC. I think they're all amazing. I think Chili's probably one of the hottest girls on this earth. Okay. Chili's definitely the hottest girl on this planet. Let's be honest. Chili's hot. She'll always be hot. T Boz, beautiful woman. Uh she went through she been through a lot. Still here. She's built tough. And they have beautiful voices, beautiful music. I don't know. I think they're like timing. I think she's just saying that like people don't always believe in them. People always doubt them. Uh, I could believe certain people. Like she said, the main people that turn their back right after Left Eye is uh, the Face Records, you know, and that makes sense. Those guys who weren't doing right by them from the beginning. So I don't know, man. It's a dirty game, man. The, the entertainment's dirty. It's dirty. It's a dirty game. Uh, let's see. TLC album, Crazy Sex of Cools. Legendary. Oh, yeah. I love Chili, man. I'm looking at a picture of her. I'm like, jeez, that girl is beautiful. Uh, Measy Mees. I'll chase her waterfall. Whoa. Calm down, my G. JT, you got the number one show on YouTube. Keep it up. Uh, yeah, you know, I wouldn't say number one. I just, I like having fun with you guys, man. You guys are awesome, you know? Five dollars from Brian Lewis said, "JT, my guy, keep releasing that fire. Most consistent hip hop news channel. Oh, don't worry, I'll keep it up, my G. I, even when I'm tired, I'll keep it up. All right, people, left out. Yeah, left out is special, man. She, she was special, but the chili, Whoosh. chili. <laughs> I don't know. I think she was my first crush, man. When I was a kid, I was looking at chili. I was just like, I love that girl, man." Probably maybe it's probably the reason why I love black women. I think it's all Chili's fault, man. It's Chili's fault. <laughs> but she's she's a she seems so nice, man. Seems so nice. Okay, so then we got Tay Six Hundred. He threatened somebody. Somebody broke into his car in L.A. They got twenty bands out of the car. He said. And he said, "Them twenty bands, you gonna." pass away i'm gonna i'm gonna inflict i'm gonna do the worst thing to you ever over those 20 bands i mean you know it's like dude you're not scaring anybody in beverly if someone broke in your car in beverly hills and took them 20 bands bro they're spending that right now they're eating taco bell right now counting them 20 counting them 19 9 19 950 bands right now <laughs> You ain't getting that 20 bands back, my G. Who keeps 20 bands in their car? Like, yo, hold on. I'm going to go in the go in this grocery store real quick and put this 20 bands up. Dude, no one even, like, accepts cash right now. Like, you should get a credit card. <laughs> you don't need to keep 20 bands on you, my G. Ryan Garrett. What's good, man? Tay 600. Wasn't he supposed to be down with OVO? Did Drake, like, drop him like a hot potato? What happened? I know he went to jail. What, what happened there? Uh, yeah, I did. I did shoot videos for a little way. It was fun. Chuck. It's Chuck. Uh, yo, that's 600. Oh, yeah. You're right. 600 Breezy. Yo, 
Why is it so confusing in Chicago? You're right. Tay 600, 600 Breezy. So confusing. All right. So 600 Breezy <laughs> is the one that lost 20 bands in his car. Tay 600 is a totally different person. Anyways, 20 bands in your car. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. 600 Breezy. That's the most confusing thing ever, to have someone named 600 Breezy and Tay 600. Confusing, man. Why? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dallas Love, you already know, man. Um, His name is 600 Breezy. I mean, if another person tells... This is the most chatter I've ever got in my life. I should say everybody's name wrong. I should say, like, yo, this is Banye. Banye and... Uh, <laughs> Banye and, and, and Crepe. Yeah, then you guys can uh, respond to everything. <laughs> JT, there is a reason you stopped shooting music videos. You should make a video about it. It's very simple, Chuck Sean, why I stopped shooting music videos. People, everybody started getting a camera and thinking they were, you know, some people were good at it, some people weren't. But, like, the people that weren't were charging, like, $200 a video. Meanwhile, my rate was, you know, minimum 3000 but usually 5000 right? And they totally ruined the market. Like they said, so, so I used to tell these guys that are shooting videos for 200, right? I say, yo, you got to charge at least 1500. And they were like, why? I was like, because you're going to shoot, you're going to shoot a video all day. And then you're going to edit it all day tomorrow. It's going to look like, eh, and you're going to charge them $200. You're never going to go up from that. You know, you're never going to like, nobody's ever going to respect that. Just like nobody ever respects the $20 Walmart shoes. You know, you got to like start at a price point, then go up. And they never understood that. And I was like, you're going to shoot six videos just to make $1,500. That's crazy, bro. You're going to be busy all week making six videos to make $1,500. And you're going to spend couple hundred dollars just shooting the videos just getting to the video eating at the video and everything so you're gonna really make like a thousand dollars let's be honest it's corny it's like dude charge 1500 per video you know you might shoot less videos but people charge people respect you you can go up from that so that's what happened people oversaturated the market they they ruined the price point and then it became like not fun you know also besides the money Besides the money, slap it down. I see you, man. I see you, bro. Then, um, besides that, people just started like it just started getting unsafe. You know, it was unsafe before, but it felt unsafe. You know, like people were just doing whatever. Artists weren't loyal. It was just so. It was draining. So I stopped. Cause like if it's not worth it, you got to move on to something else. When it's not, when something becomes not fun anymore. And you can pivot, pivot. It's the best advice I can give. If something is not fun anymore, you got to pivot. You got to leave. You got to walk away from it and start something new. And that's what I did. You just got to keep evolving. And it's so... Um, no home on what? Pivot? Pivot? Pivot. <laughs> that's not... That's not a... There's nothing homo about that, man. You're crazy. Sorry, I'm drinking seltzer water. So the 5D changed the world forever. Yeah. I mean, the best camera now is like the Sony's. Those are the best, you know. Canon's trash now. But Canon was the best. Yeah, pivot. This guy says pivot. <laughs> uh, then uh, Detroit said, what up, though? I say, what up to Detroit? But yeah, man, uh, let's go through some random news. Plug talk. Okay. Uh, I get what you're saying. All right. 21 Savage and Metro Boomin Savage Mode first week sales. Yeah, we already did that. 173. Uh, Tori dropped a video. Interesting. Hot video, too. Whoever's doing his videos now is fire. Uh, Charlemagne reacted to Kanye doing Big Sean dirty. He, said he doesn't agree with that. I, 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 of course, nobody agrees with it. Kanye West is a 
a hypocrite. He wants his masters back. He wants to be treated right. He wants this and that. But then he doesn't treat other people right. Like, dude. <laughs> Young job cop, please. We already did that. Uh, pretty Ricky Baby Blue claims he faces life in prison over federal charges. No, he doesn't. <laughs> they just say that to you. Uh, t Boz accuses Drink T.I. Nelly abandoning TLC. Yeah, we already talked about that. That's crazy. But Drake, I don't, I don't know about that one. Ten year, you know, eight years later, Drake was like, nah, I can't mess with it. It's like, you know, I don't know about that. Dream Doll reveals industry woes. We already went over that yesterday. Dream Doll is hot. Dream Doll is cute, man. Uh, I'm trying to find something else to talk about, man. But there's not much going on out here. I knew today was going to be like that. It just felt weird today, man. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Den Dennis Rodman unboxing Yeezy. So oh, let's see how trash these are. If they're trash, I'll send a picture. <laughs> let's see how trash they are. <laughs> 700 boosts. They're not that bad. They're not that fire, though. 700 boosts. Yo, Dennis Rodman looks crazy, my G. Is that a beard? Or is it just like mad piercings? These things are trash. They're not worth what they're they're charging for, them, okay? Like they 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 probably cost like $300. And they look like basic Reebok shoes. You know, there's nothing special about them. The first Yeezy, the other Yeezys, I don't, I don't know what the, they were called, but they were they were nice, man. See, these are, these are kind of trash, my G. They're like, what's so special about these? Oh, oh, oh I know what it is. Kanye, de Kanye designed them, personally. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> These are trash. <laughs> These are trash, my G. I'm sorry. Adidas has way better shoes, my G. Like, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Adidas has way better shoes. The boosts were kind of like Yeezys. The boosts, those were hot. I have, I still have, I bought a lot of pairs of boosts because they went on sale. I have at least five pairs of boosts, four or five pairs of boosts, just sitting, ready to be worn, ready. What are the other shoes I buy at Costco? Adidas has some fire shoes for low price points. Yeezys? I don't know, man. <laughs> Can't pay all that for them Yeezys, my G. Some of these Yeezys are super trash. Like, the Yeezy slides are super trash. Trash. It's melted plastic, my G. Come on. Kanye West is insane, man. He, I mean, in a good way, you know, he's like creatively, but he's just like, yo, the confidence in that guy. If we could all get like, like, like a 1% of that confidence, man, he should sell it. He should sell that confidence. We would take the pill, man. <laughs> we would take it. He's a guy. He's just, he sweats confidence, man. He believes he's like, yo, I'm going to build village on 300 acres of land and then he's like i'm gonna be joel osteen tomorrow too and i'm gonna walk on water and i'm gonna spend big sean's three million dollars on walking on water <laughs> yeah hey yeah, yeah, yeah. just going to that big sean bank account uh the three million yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go get take some money for yourself man <laughs> yo kind of is crazy man i don't know how do you preach all that and then don't do the right thing by artists, though? That's what I don't get. Yo, you're right. Yeezy slides look like jail. What are they called? Jail bobos? Is that the official term term for them? Let me look up what they look like. I think they're different at every jail, though, aren't they? Jail bobos. Ah. Uh... Nah, they don't look like that, bro. Those clear sandals. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those before. They look similar. Oh, oh I know which ones you're talking. I see them. <laughs> Bobo bugger shower shoes. 
They do look like shower shoes, though, let's be honest. Shower shoes. Yo, what's up with Crocs making a huge comeback? Because of Justin Bieber and everything? Crocs. Crocs. Justin Bieber Crocs. They sell out in like two seconds, too. Justin Bieber's selling power is tremendous. GJ Cal was dancing around in these yellow bananas earlier. Let's get him in these bananas. <laughs> Yo, dancing on banana peels out here. DJ Khaled. Let me see. These things are trash. If you wear these, <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. These are shoes for like special people. Look at these things, man. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. Nah. <laughs> if you wear Crocs, man. And I'm not even like a fashion dude. Like, I'm so out of fashion. But Crocs are trash. Just put some slides on. Like, keep it simple. Who's wearing these, man? Let me see. Let me see the chat. JT ain't no G, my G. <laughs> Shout out to Worldwide Spotlight. Worldwide Spotlight in here. I don't see you, man. Shout out to you, man. Did he say something earlier? I mess with Worldwide. He's cool. Let me see. Let us see. Uh, let's see. Sigh. Uh, si. GT ain't no GMIG. Crocs are gross, it says. What's up with JT the biggest fan? I haven't spoken to him in a minute. We the best. Crocs are ugly. Jersey in the building. Jersey representative. Fresh at work. Fresh at work. Oh. Enjoy work, man. JT, read the chat, bam. Your stream personality dry. Chuck, I've been real. I'm being real. I mess with you. Bro, I'm tired. I'm going live while I'm tired. Okay? <laughs> but you know what? Why not go live, man? Hollister, California. Make your feet look extra big. Melissa. Facts. Look at them. They look like banana peels. They look like... Damn. They look like from the 70s. Like the big clocker, clonker shoes that people used to wear. Maybe the 40s. Let's be honest. JT ain't from the streets. No. Duh. Nobody said I'm from the streets. <laughs> I love, oh, you got me exposed, my G. I'm, fr I'm not... Fr <laughs> Get out of here. In fact... What's so? What's Sasai? I don't know, but but he's a little weird. Gotta get rid of him. He's tripping. He exposed me just now. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. I mean, we got the Crocs. Crocs are like Uggs. Trash. No, no, not Uggs. I'm sorry. Lugs. <laughs> Crocs are like lugs. Trash. <laughs> There's only one place they belong is in the trash bin. I'm gonna be honest. Like you can wear these around your house and get away with it. That's pretty much all they're for. Like don't go outside wearing these things. I don't care how comfortable they are. It's a crime. JT is part of the community anyway. Anyway. <laughs> joking man i'm so tired bro get on the boat the banana boat <laughs> yeah it's a dallas love these are trash there's something let's see there's something real tool bags in here tonight oh man just, some people are cool some people just like the troll man they just want attention jersey representative hope you're having a good day at work lugs are so trash Funk flex lugs. Remember Birdman with them lugs? Lugs. Birdman lugs. Yo, look, look at this. Yo, I'm going to show you this, man. Yo, Birdman was probably, yo, man. We so hot. I, I can't even do his voice. Yo, what up, Wally? These are the new Tims. Lugs. A honey. Hunter, these are the new Tims. 
Lugs. 100. Cash Money YMC and B. <laughs> Yo, fly them. Fly them to the trash, my G. Because those are crazy. Uh, Heat, Fire, Lakers, Warner. I got Earth. Who's going to win tomorrow night, man? Your life is interesting. You should talk about it more. You got to ask me questions. It's not that interesting to me. I lived it. JT, who you got in the finals? I kind of want to see the Heat just, like, crush the Lakers. Because, like, I'm a little bit cynical. Let's be honest. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. They're going to bring it to Game 7, man, because... I think the stuff, like, how does it always go this far? Like, honestly, the Lakers probably should have crushed them, like, already. But, like, why leave all that ad revenue on the table? Think about it. They're not making any money in the NBA. They need all that revenue. They're like, yo, guys, you got to make this go to game seven. I don't care. LeBron, you need to chill out and sit on the bench, man. We need to get this to game seven and get this ad revenue. Because the NBA is, we're just throwing money down the toilet at this point. So, I bet you, I would say he loses, he wins, and then the Lakers take the whole thing. I think that's what's going to happen. But, you know, I don't even know how you would rig something like that. I'm just saying. It feels rigged. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Yeah, Reeboks are, Reeboks are good, man. I like Reeboks. I'm more of an Adidas guy, but, you know. Chris Weeks, your life sounds interesting <laughs> You should chat about it, too. <laughs> yeah, you guys are crazy tonight, man. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great night. I, very, I appreciate you guys so much being in here. I will check you guys next week. Bring Birdman back up. <laughs> I already deleted it, man. I can't. All right. This is a TLR. Hold on, get her. I right, appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah, the bird man was like, <laughs> it's over. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Chad with J. Salute every baby, baby J. Uh, Nas, TLR. I see you guys. Uh, has rapper ever taken offense to anything you've ever said? Oh, yeah. They have. It's okay. I'm a big boy. Peace, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button on your way out. Get them likes up. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Jersey representative, you have a great evening at work, man. Be safe. Peace.